Chris, what look like we've been shooting today? <laughs> just we got ears, we just, got just eyes, we got bit. shotgun shells. But look, here's I wanted to have a discussion because you've had a lot of experience uh, training mm -hmm. and teaching mm -hmm. people how to protect themselves. Yeah. And one thing that I have, check this out. Here's my here's one of my bags. I have in my bag a nice plate, a nice pan, armor panel for go. specifically for my backpack, and it fits. It's just perfect. Now the difference between this and panels you might find in body armor. What's the biggest difference you can you can describe? Well, how thick this is. This is thin. This is a three A soft panel. It's not a a ceramic or a hard or yep. God forbid steel. Right, right. And and I'm I'm a big anti. I preach against steel. But uh, the one the cool thing about this Premier body armor that I liked that three more inches of coverage. Yep. Versus because I had standard armor panels in my pack ten by twelves. And I just, I don't know, depends on what kind of mood I'm in. I'll put a soft panel in, or I might put a level four ceramic panel in. I ordered in. my 10, I ordered mine um, 12 by 14. Oh, I ordered mine gotcha. a little bit, but mine are also Dyneema. Okay. So they're super light. I got gotcha. you. Because armor's no good if it's so heavy, you're not going to wear it. Something good like this point. goes in our backpack. This weighs, what, eight ounces, 10 ounces, maybe. It's light. Yeah, um, super light. So you're not going to notice it. I don't even know it's in my bag. Now, if you, if you, if this was AR 500, you pick that bag up. <laughs> You'd notice it every time. Yeah, you'd make that noise. Yeah, you feel you feel like you're at the gym. But then, but then the question comes down to what does this stop? What is this good for? So, yep. And the only way to actually test body armor is some idiot has to wear it. So, <laughs> eeny, meeny, <laughs> miny, Bob. Bob. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell's going on here? <laughs> Bob's a good friend of ours, and he has generously volunteered to be today's target in this William Tell exercise. We've literally taped ribs. His mouth shut. <laughs> We've taped ribs onto Bob. These are literally uh, Smithfield. Dude, we wasted Smithfield ribs. We've got They're Smithfield Chinese ribs, ribs now. <laughs> Chinese ribs. So we're going to literally tape this Premier Body Armor panel to Bob. We're going to put it down range and we're going to shoot the crap out of it. Let's and, see what happens. And so this is a full five gallons of water to give us a nice backstop. We're not expecting any perforation, right? We shouldn't. I hope not. We hope. Um, but we might have penetration. But what we're mainly looking for is, so why do we do ribs? What, what we got ribs taped to this thing for? Exactly. We, we want see, some realistic. We want to see if we break bones. Yeah. We want to see if we break bones. And that's why Bob. Wait a minute. You mean it's not like in the movies when you could get uh, machine gunned Didn't you and you know? just stand there and take it? Nothing Didn't you happens? know a nine millimeter bullet will blow your lungs completely <laughs> out of your body? I'm expecting to see Bob lungless, waterless, broken rib, breast. There's only one way to find out. Let's, let's armor him up and shoot him. Let's do it. Here we go. Let's get our tape. We'll tape it up. We want to make sure that Bob is safe. There's been threats made against his life by some uh, some fundamentalists out of uh, out of some nations we won't mention, but they believe Bob is uh, not halal. So we're trying to protect him out here. Whoop. All right, that ought to hold it on there. But we're fixing the shooting with a whole lot of stuff. And we're going to see what Premier Armor can take. All right, let's and take And these ribs. And these ribs. And hey, do we get to eat those afterwards? You can. <laughs> you thinking, knock one of those poppers down? We yeah, set it on the top and then that. the so ass just, of this on the popper? Just follow us, Jake. Unless, and if they stop at 90, I don't know where they stop at. I think they lay pretty flat. Bob, degrees. you're putting on weight. <laughs> Show up here to shoot guns, we put you to work. Yeah, that shit. <laughs> That's part of shooting guns. <laughs> yeah, Let's see. knock one down. There we go. Yeah, okay. And then we can get it kind of in the pocket. Maybe it won't fall off is what I was thinking. Yeah. There we go. All right, cool. I like it. Yeah. All right. All right, Chris, so we're about 10 yards away from the Premier Armor. Uh, I, know, I know you carry a, uh, one of your EDCs, the Glock 19. Yep. You got 9 mil. You got yep. some hollow points. Yeah, there's some hydroshocks in it. I'm curious to see. Perfect. Because I know the rest of the stuff we're shooting is all ball. Yep. It'd be a nice little comparison to see what this hollow point does. All right, sounds armor. good. Now, I just want to point one, out, one thing out to you. Yeah. That that iPhone 13 Pro. <laughs> that one that's right in front of the target? That's mine. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. That's all you. <laughs> Let's put one round in. And let's see what happens. I'm dying to see what happens to the ribs. Me too. I'm, that's what I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna shoot for the ER on the right side of the. Okay. 
This. I'm going to step back. Range is hot. Range is hot. Well, I was aiming for the ER is off a little bit. Oh, that's okay. But cool. There's our impact. All right, so there's our impact, and I'm just you and know there's just there's no def there's barely any deformation on the back of the plate. Cool. I'm gonna pick this camera up, and we're gonna come around and get a closer shot. So, show, show me your impact first. So here's our impact. I said I was aiming for the ER, so I was off a little bit, but there's our impact. Okay. There's very I can see the projectile and feel it right here. Okay, great. And but there's very little deformation here. We can see where it. So it, it knocked the sticker off. That's about all the impact it did. Okay, if bruise. that were if that were you or I, bruise. Oh, okay, cool. You'd have a bruise. Awesome. That's all that would do. All right. Well, let's take a step up and find something else to shoot it with. Let me get some more tape and, and resecure Bob's armor. All right. And you notice that thing didn't even move. I know. I expected a rock. Yeah, weird. I did too. Totally. All right. So Chris, so. Nice shot. Nice shot, the nine millimeter. I was surprised. Yeah. It surprised it didn't even like really wiggle. It kind of just absorbed. Didn't even that. move. I was didn't expecting it to move. I yeah. bet I can make it move. I bet it wiggles now. Because I'm gonna shoot it with a 10 millimeter. This is an underwood. It's 165 grain traveling at 1600 ish yeah. feet per second. And I'm just gonna go for center mass. And it's supposed to stop this. It should stop it. So maybe it will, maybe it won't. So we'll we, find out. We found the nine millimeter projectile just under cover so it yep. didn't really penetrate layers of kevlar let's see what this does right sounds good now i'm gonna put my ears in go hot here we go she wiggled that time oh good shot i'll hold the camera if you can investigate yeah let's see what we got so Big dimple. Let's open it up. We got tape. So here. Did we penetrate? Nope. It, it, it busted the uh, label on the back. It busted the cover and the sub cover, but the Kevlar, it did not penetrate. Awesome. Awesome. It's hot though. Can you see any evidence on Bob of the impact of that 10 mil? Round? So here is where Bob was hit. And we can see the, the the plastics ripped, so this you can almost equate that to your skin would be ripped, and he's got some soft tissue damage. Now, let's see where I can find his rib. There's a rib right there, but that's a so it did not break the bone because it barely missed it. It hit between two ribs. Okay, so but if there's there's significant soft tissue damage there though too. Yeah. So. Whereas this one, we scraped off a sticker. This one, we've busted the outer pack and packaging, and this is soft tissue damage. You can see where it's actually coming apart from the impact. Awesome. So that would have left the mark. You're, you're, you're gonna be feeling this. Okay, cool. Well, I got something I think might just penetrate that Premier Armor, and it's something that it's not rated for, and I'm gonna show it to you in just a second. I'll set her up, and I'll, um, I'll uh, armor Bob back up here. He's, he's having a bad day got something here Chris that this panel is not rated for and that no 3a armor is rated for yeah this kills werewolves because though. this is this is this is the silver bullet baby silver bullet. this is pilgrim uh, ammo pilgrim torch they call it and it's a 50 grain projectile traveling about 2,000 feet per second and let's see what kind of mayhem we can cause on old Bob with pilgrim ammo let's let's, let's put a few rounds in and we'll do the old three, two, one. Okay. Okay. Going hot. Going hot. All right. How many, how many times are we looking to kill Bob here? Let's uh, kill Bob as many times as it takes. Let me put my ears in. So, so, uh, so this is a this is a standard stand your ground situation. We're going to shoot him to the dirt. Is that what you're saying? Indeed. In three, two, one. I'm afraid Bob is dead. <laughs> oh, cold range. Let's see what we got. Woo! Oh. I think I'm going to have to 
think we've got some holy shit. <laughs> holy shit. Oh my god. So uh yeah. Oh we have total perforation. Pilgrim ammo will definitely perforate the we uh have, any three A armor. Yeah, we have a minimum of four solid five solid passes through the plate. So we yeah. Have one, two, three, four, and five. I'm going to put this camera down. I just, you know, we need to kind of explain one little thing here, and I'm going to step in here with you. Here's the deal. With, 3A body, with good quality 3A body armor, like Premier body armor, uh, you know, it's meant to protect you against standard, you know, calibers. 9 mil, 40, 45. We even shot it with 10 mil. Yep. Pretty some nasty-ass 10 mil ammo. I don't want to be hit wearing this with 10 mil. I mean, I'd rather be hit wearing this with than, than without it, but yeah. a 10 mil round hitting you in this is, you're, you're going to be out of the fight. You're going to have some trauma. Yeah, serious trauma. It'll probably protect you from that projectile passing yeah. through into your body. But soft tissue injuries are going to be pretty intense. And yeah. if it hits a rib, that thing's gone too. It's gonna shatter. Yeah. So disclaimer, um, the, the, whole, <laughs> the whole Pilgrim ammo thing was just kind of for fun. Yeah. Uh, incidentally, that's what I carry in my EDC. Uh, and now, I'm going to get some. And now you know why. Now I'm going to get some. I'll hook you up. I need some of this. But I, I, I really, it's a testament to Premier Body Armor. It did hold up to the calibers it's supposed to. To your standard calibers you're going to encounter in the street, that, that your average um, less than law abiding citizen and, and peaceful protesting protesters going to carry, this is going to be sufficient to the job. And, and for all those parents, kids in schools. Oh, yeah. These are a must. For Kids' every, book bags. When you go, when they say back to school shopping, body armor needs to be on your mind, and they need a plate for their backpacks for school because they can wear it on their back like they normally do. If things go hot, they can spin that thing around, teach them how to put it over their front shoulders yep. and carry it in front of them. It's so, cheap insurance for your kids, yeah. guys. So check them out for beer body armor. As always, we'll have a link in the description. I think we're going to cook some ribs. Yeah, we have something to cook. <laughs> they, they tenderize? Yes, tenderize. That's it. I don't know about the marinade and dry rub we just put on it, but we'll give it a shot. All right, brother.